Hello, good afternoon to all of you. How are you good all? Good afternoon, you? teacher. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Okay, we are going to start the session for today. I hope all of you are doing well. Uh, so, how was the exam? How was it? So, I came after two weeks for you. Because of that, I have asked about it. So, I hope most of you have got the good marks. Uh, so, last week you did... Uh, Uh, you did uh, with Miss Shalini and uh, you have completed. I hope you have already completed the uh, unit 10. Is that finished, Kuta? Last week, unit 10, have you already finished it? Yes, teacher. Up to which page? Yes, teacher. teacher. Up to page number 90, you have already completed. Am I correct? Yes. All right. So yes. our summer holidays, so all of these lessons are going about, look at these kind of uh, seasons. Now tell me what are the four seasons that you have learned last week? You have already learned four seasons. Then what are the seasons you have learned? Yes. 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 Spring, summer, autumn, winter. Yes, good. So, do you know what are the differences between these four seasons? Have you? That means you have learned it last week. No, can you remember that? What is yes, spring teacher. and what is summer? Yes, Sasandi, tell me what is spring. Tell me what is spring. What can you see when you get the spring season? Can you tell me? What can you say about spring? Wait. With flowers. Yes. Some flowers and a tree. Yes, Some tree. birds. Yes. Uh, grasses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clouds and that's all. All right. When you take summer season, uh, can you tell me, Vinudi? Can you, what can you see, Vinudi, in summer season? In summer, just think, can say. You can think, can say, because you know then what is spring, what is summer, what is autumn. So kind of different seasons. So in summer, what can, what sort of a weather you can feel? Yes? It's hot. Yes, it's hot. Good. Then it's really hot. And mostly people go to beach and they can enjoy, right? So kind of those things. Then I will show you a small video about it. So you can watch it and have an idea about it here. It's about four seasons. Today we are going to learn about four seasons. That means last week, KK, uh, Sing Sing. Last week we did that. Just I want you to remind it, okay? Can four you all season. see? Can you all see? Yes, teacher. All right. You want yes, to listen teacher. and also yes, watch. Teacher. Then you want to tell me what are the differences. What is spring, summer, autumn, and winter? So there are four different seasons. You want to go through it and tell me what are the differences. Okay? Okay. Spring. Warm. Warm. Spring is warm. Flower. Flower. It is flowering season. Picnic. Picnic. I love going on a picnic in spring. 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 It is spring. Summer. Hot. Hot. Summer is so hot. 
vacation. Vacation. I love summer vacation. Beach. Beach. In summer, we go to the beach. Summer. Summer. It is summer. Fall. Cool. Cool. Fall is cool. Leaves. Leaves. The leaves are falling. Harvest. Harvest. Fall is the season of harvest. Fall. Fall. It is fall. Winter. Cold. Cold. Winter is cold. No. No. It snows a lot in winter. Snowman. Snowman. We are making a snowman. Winter. Winter. It is winter. Review. Four seasons. Spring. Warm. Flower. Thickness. Summer. Yes, now tell me in spring, what can you see? Spring, you have seen there are three things that they have already given you. Warm. Yes, warm. it's warm. And last one is picnic. You can go on picnic. Hot. Vacation. Beach. Yes, in summer. What can you do in summer and what are the things you can Vacation. Do? Yes, it's hot. Eat. Hot. And it's really hot. Good. Fall. Cool. Leaves. Harvest. Yes, fall is also known as autumn, Puda. You have already learned it as autumn. Then fall is also, you have learned in the pasting book. I hope you can remember that. So in fall or the autumn, what you can feel? What is the weather? Weather cold. Yes, kind of leaves. cold. That's cool and also leaves are falling. And the other one is harvest. That is known as the harvesting period. Winter. Cold. Snow. Snowman. Right. In winter, what you can feel? What sort of weather you cold. can feel? Yes. Cold. 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 It's cold. And also you can see no. snow. No. No. Snowman. The last one is not snowman. You can make snowman and also other things. All right. Okay, then uh, let's move to the book again. Get ready for flyers. So last week you have already completed it.
so spring summer autumn and winter you have already completed it so today we have the new lesson that is also linked to this one our summer holidays so holidays it's about holidays or vacations then you can see summer you know what is summer now it's hot and also you can have vacation at this moment and also you can go to the beach and you can enjoy yourself right okay right i have already shown you another video about summer vacation i hope you can remember i will show you it later after finishing this so look at pictures and the letters write the words so uh, everybody please start cameras it's better to uh, check whether you all are doing your work or not so i request you all to start cameras on and uh, here you can see a lot of pictures then they are going on a going for a vacation so they, they are going for a vacation and uh, they are going to pack their bags all right so they are going to pack their bags they have given the first word for you it's as gloves you know uh, you need gloves specially in the winter season so some of the seasons there some of the seasons means in specially uh, winter season we need gloves because it's very cold godak sitala nisa apita anivaremma pavichi karana wena pute gloves kiyana eka okay there is a rucksack and also a suitcase first of all we want to write down the words here after that we want to listen and match to the rucksack and the suitcase this is known as the suitcase and this is known as the rucksack rucksack means backpack kela tapi kiyenawa piche ellagena yana ekata thamai puthi api rucksack kela kiyanne all right then uh, shall we start to write the words first are you ready first write, write the words here okay let's start Have you finished? Finished, teacher. All right. Uh, what about the others? Me too. Okay, good. I am two teacher. All right, let's start to write the answers. I hope most of you have finished now. 
Now, uh, letter B, what is the word you want to write in letter B? Stop. Stop. Yes. Stop. Stop. S-O-A-P. Stop. Next one, number, letter C. Belt. B-E-L-T. -E Belt. Letter D. Magazine. Magazine. Yes, letter E. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Letter F. Trainers. Trainers. Yes, trainers. Letter G. Umbrella. 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 Uh, letter H. Pajamas. 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 Last one. Hair short. Teacher, there is no A for pair of short. Yeah, that's a problem. Potted short. Spotted can be the dot sahita. Dot sienava spotted S P O double T E D. Spotted can a dot sienakian eka. Spotted short. So that is the answer for letter I. So you can see the uh, spellings from here. If it is Correct, you can put a tick with a red pen. All of you keep red pens, Kuda, then you can uh, check your books while we are doing that lesson. Have you all finished? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Okay. So next on, the Brown family are getting ready for their holiday. Holiday. Listen to their conversation and draw lines to the rucksack to the rucksack or suitcase. Rucksack is this one and suitcase is the, this blue one. So you want to listen and draw lines. First of all, we'll listen. Then you want to draw lines. Listening 31. The teacher is phoning Mrs. Brown, who is writing Give down some second. information for her husband. Listen and write the missing words. Not that one, mm -hmm. Not that one. Listening 37. The Brown family are getting ready for their holiday. Listen to their conversation and draw lines to the rucksack or the suitcase. Now then, have you got everything you need, children? Mum, should I take my new lemon soap? Yes, just put it in the top pocket of the rucksack. OK, Mum. And have you got everything, Harry? Yes, Mum. I think so. But should I put my gloves in the bottom pocket of the rucksack? You won't need gloves where we're going, Harry. Yeah. But I want them, Mum. Oh, OK then. Put them in there. I think I've got everything now, Mum. But should I take my umbrella? I've put it in the bottom of the suitcase already. But I don't think it's going to rain, Holly. Well, never mind. I like my umbrella and it's new. Right, okay then. Don't forget your pyjamas. Pack them in the suitcase, please. And you'll need your trainers too. I'll put them in the bottom pocket of the rucksack. <sighs> okay. 
Now, have you put my magazine in the rucksack, Holly? Yes, Mum, it's in. Now, what else shall I take? Have you got your new sunglasses, Mum? Oh, no, thanks, Harry. I'll need them. Just put them in the top of the suitcase for me, would you please? Now, anything else? Yes, Mum. I need my belt. But do you really, Harry? Yes, Mum. My trousers will fall down without it. Well, we can't have that. OK, there's just a bit of space in the top of the suitcase. Put it in there, Harry. OK. Thanks, Mum. So, is that everything? Er, uh, no. We haven't quite finished yet, Mum. Oh, dear. What will your father say? Listen again. Listening 37. The Brown family are getting ready for their holiday. Listen to their conversation and draw lines to the rucksack or the suitcase. Now then, have you got everything you need, children? Mum, should I take my new lemon tea? Yes, just put it in the top pocket of the rucksack. OK, Mum. And have you got everything, Harry? Yes, Mum. I think so. But should I put my gloves in the bottom pocket of the rucksack? You won't need gloves where we're going, Harry. But I want them, Mum. Ah, oh, OK then. Put them in there. I think I've got everything now, Mum. But should I take my umbrella? I've put it in the bottom of the suitcase already. But I don't think it's going to rain, Holly. Well. Never mind. I like my umbrella and it's new. Right. OK, then. Don't forget your pyjamas. Pack them in the suitcase, please. And you'll need your trainers, too. I'll put them in the bottom pocket of the rucksack. <sighs> OK. Now, have you put my magazine in the rucksack, Holly? Yes, Mum. It's in. Now, what else shall I take? Have you got your new sunglasses, Mum? Oh, no, thanks, Harry. I'll need them. Just put them in the top of the suitcase for me, would you please? Now, anything else? Yes, Mum. I need my belt. But do you really, Harry? Yes, Mum. My trousers will fall down without it. Well, we can't have that. OK, there's just a bit of space in the top of the suitcase. Put it in there, Harry. OK. Thanks, Mum. So, is that everything? Er, uh, no. We haven't quite finished yet, Mum. Oh, dear. What will your father say? All right, now I'm going to mark the answers. Please take a red pen and choose your answers, OK? Check your answers. Listening 37. Now listen also, you can see the answers are getting too. ready for their holiday. Listen to their conversation and draw lines to the rucksack or the suitcase. First one is down for you, no need to do now that. Then. Have you got everything you need, children? Mum, should I take my new lemon tea? Yes, just put it in the top pocket of the rucksack. OK, Mum. And have you got everything, Harry? Yes, Mum. I think so. But should I put my gloves in the bottom pocket of the rucksack? You won't need gloves where we're going, Harry. But I want them, Mum. Oh, OK then. Put them in there. I think I've got everything now, Mum. But should I take my umbrella? I've put it in the bottom of the suitcase already. But I don't think it's going to rain, Holly. Well, never mind. I like my umbrella and it's new. Right, OK then. Don't forget your pyjamas. Pack them in the suitcase, please. And you'll need your trainers too. I'll put them in the bottom pocket of the rucksack. <sighs> OK. Now, have you put my magazine in the rucksack, Holly? Yes, Mum, it's in. Now, what else shall I take? Have you got your new sunglasses, Mum? Oh, no, thanks, Harry. I'll need them. Just put them in the top of the suitcase for me, would you please? Now, anything else? Yes, Mum. 
I need my belt. But do you really, Harry? Yes, Mum. My trousers will fall down without it. Well, we can't have that. OK, there's just a bit of space in the top of the suitcase. Put it in there, Harry. OK. Thanks, Mum. So, is that everything? Er, uh, no. We haven't quite finished yet, Mum. Oh, dear. What will your father say? All right, they have given these things and uh, shorts have uh, shorts left here, no? Yes. Yeah. magazine ne kaya na aksa kaya magazine ne suit Yes. Teacher. Yes. Yes. Wait, we'll check it again. Listening 37. The Brown family are getting ready for their holiday. Let's Listen move to, to let's do it from the beginning, then I, you can try understand. Or the suitcase. Now then, have you got everything you need, children? Mum, should I take my new lemon tea? Yes, just put it in the top pocket of the rug. OK, Mum. And have you got everything, Harry? Yes, Mum, I think so. But should I put my gloves in the bottom pocket of the rug, Dad? You won't need gloves where we're going, Harry. But I want them, Mum. Oh, OK then, put them in there. I think I've got everything now, Mum. But should I take my umbrella? I've put it in the bottom of the suitcase already. But I don't think it's going to rain, Polly. Well, never mind. I like my umbrella and it's new. Right. OK, then. Don't forget your pyjamas. Pack them in the suitcase, please. And you'll need your trainers, too. I'll put them in the bottom pocket of the rucksack. <sighs> OK. Now. Have you put my magazine in the rucksack, Holly? Yes, Mum, it's in. Now, what else shall I take? Have you got your new sunglasses, Mum? Oh, no, thanks, Harry. I'll need them. Just put them in the top of the suitcase for me, would you please? Now, anything else? Yes, Mum, I need my belt. But do you really, Harry? Yes, Mum, my trousers will fall down without it. Well, we can't have that. OK, there's just a bit of space in the top of the suitcase. Put it in there, Harry. OK, thanks, Mum. So, is that everything? Er, uh, no. We haven't quite finished yet, Mum. Oh, dear. What will your father say? All right, yes, that should be in the rucksack magazine. So, here you can see... Uh, Pyjamas, umbrella, and here you can see belt and also sunglasses are inside the suitcase. Gloves, soap, magazine, trainers are inside the rucksack. So those are the things you want to include in those two baggages. Then they have given the question, what clothes don't go to the rucksack or the suitcase? Now you know what has left here. So what is the left one here? You want to write spotted short. Yes, answer E is spotted short. Short here, you want to write that as the answer. All right, next one, listen and read, then act. First of all, we want to listen to that. Let's see. Uh, it's a kind of an act. Then look at this first, then listen. Listening 38. Listen and read. Then act. One. The suitcase is full. We're ready. Should I put all my money in the box, Dad? No, somebody might take it. Put it in the suitcase. Two. Should I take the striped short or the spotted shorts? You'll need them both. And we need our favourite biscuit. Three. 
Should I take these books? Oh yes, we might need books and we need the camera. Four. The taxi's here. Let's go. What's the matter, Dad? This suitcase is really heavy now. I can't lift it. All right, so the suitcase is full of we are ready. The suitcase, sorry, suitcase is full and we are ready. Suitcase is full, we are ready. We are ready. Should I put all my money in the rucksack? So he's asking, should I put all my money? Mama, money, you come to the house. For what? To into what? Into the rucksack. rucksack. No, somebody might take. What do you mean by somebody might take? Put it in the suitcase. Put it in the suitcase. Rucksack is put always with you, but the suitcase is a little bit uh, kind of uh, inside the plastic. That means like a product can take a water, Savima. Rucksack is a little bit hard. Next, Mama, 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 Next one, should I take the striped shorts or the spotted short? Striped means maybe irithi and a short with the striped kiela. Spotted dots kiela. So you can see there are two different shorts are here. You will need them both, and we need our favorite biscuits. Eva Okkumagana kiela kienawa and favorite biscuits. Then Okolosamani vacation kakanawanang. You also take kind of different food. Yeah, the collect on either. What kind of things you collect mm -hmm. when you go for a vacation? Yes, what kind of things you all are taking? Camera. Yes, you no, I, I am asking about food. Yes? Teachers, food. Yes, um, different kinds of things, no? Things. All right. So here you can see. Yes. Here you can see, should I take these books? May books to go no the kela ginya no the kela tahanawa. Next. Oh yes, we might need books and we need the camera. Uh Okay, then uh, the taxi is here. Let's go. What's the matter? The suitcase is really heavy now. Now look at this. What should you take on these holidays? Write two things. Then talk about it with a friend. King holiday, camping holiday, beach holiday. You want to write the things that you want to take for this.
I have written them, teacher. Yes, can you tell me what are the answers? A skiing holiday, gloves, ice skate, a camping holiday, tent, tent, a torch, okay. a beach holiday, sunscreen, and a hat. All right, sunscreen and a hat, good. Well done. What about the others? Yes, Samsidu. Teacher, see the letter all the way down to Pierre Mugatagiani. Ah, yes, that's a kind of hat. And uh, just write hat, I will give you the name, Puta. Okay, indeed. So, teacher, it's woolly hat. Yeah. I'll show you that uh, beanies, kela kena pute api ekata. Mittens, beanies, I'll show you those things. Uh, give me one second. B E A N I E, beanie, kela api kena puta, I word ekha. I can't show it now. B A N I E. Teacher, please tell me again. B E A N I E. B E A N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B E N I E B with the cart, you can wear a scarf as well. Scarf is also wearing in winter. So I will show you. Uh, I will show you different kinds of winter clothes next week because I can't show it today because of this one. Uh, there's a problem with it. Next week I will show you different kinds of winter clothes. And sweaters also wear in winter. Eaten. Hi, I have finished my work. Good. Yes, what are the words you have written there? Skiing, holiday, blouse, bean, bean hat, a camping holiday, rucksack, trainers, a beach holiday, sunglasses, balls. Teacher. Yes. Can I tell? Yes, start. In a skiing holiday, snow boots and goggles. In a camping holiday, sleeping bag and torch. Mm -hmm. In a beach holiday, sunscreen and sunglasses. Okay. All right. Others? Rehara? Vinudi? Rehara and Vinudi, can you tell me the answers?
Where are these two? All right. I need your answers, Vinudi and Rehara, who have who haven't given answers yet. Sasandi, uh, you have given the answers. No, teacher. Yes, tell me your answers. Snowboard, a skiing holiday. Mm -hmm. Snowboard, gloves, a camping holiday, a torch and a suitcase, a beach holiday and umbrella and sunglasses. Okay. All right. Uh, those who haven't given answers want to give next time, right? So don't be stay dumb. Harry's mm -hmm. talking about, yes, Rehara? What happened at the start of their holiday in groups of three? Read the part of story, then talk about the story together and decide which part of story come first, second and third, right? So they have given you a picture, given you pictures here. Harry is talking about what happened at the start of their holiday. Holiday ke makakta mulin mune ke na tamai kiya so in groups of three, read a part of the story, then talk about the story together. Story again, it was a couple of discuss night the end. Then uh, which part of the story come first, second, and third? Mona part of the mulin saha dekas tuna kiana kotas vulata in nikila kiane. So can you uh, guess it? Yes. yes, can you narrate it? Yes. Yes, yes. tell me. First one is the first one is the second one is the third one is the first one is B, second one is A, third one is the okay. Tell me the story. One one of you can tell me the story. What happened in this story? Teacher can I tell? Yes, yeah, start. Uh, when Harry is going uh, to his holiday, he uh, in, uh, he did something bad and he hurt his neck. Uh huh. Is that when all? Harry, uh -huh. No. When Harry is in vacation. He went to the uh, top of a uh, building and he did something naughty and he hurt his neck. Uh -huh. That's it. That's all. What about the others? Any other kind of a story? Narrate your own story, Buddha. You can narrate your own story. I can. You start. When uh, Harry is going his holiday, Harry, when Harry is uh, going to the airport, he played and hurt his neck. And in the airport, uh, Harry hurt his neck and said, her mom. Okay. Others? Teacher, can I tell? Yes, Tom. When Harry is when Harry is going her holiday with her family, and she went a uh, uh, top of building, and she hurt her neck. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Others? Sansindu? Sindhu? Rion? Can I tell? Yes, start. Start with that. When, uh, when Holly 
Holly, Harry, and her family were going. The the tire of the car was losing air. Mm -hmm. They had to walk on foot to the airport. Mm -hmm. When they got to the airport, Harry accidentally hurt his neck and went to see his mother. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Vinodi? When Holly and Harry going to the holiday, mm -hmm. Harry Harry, Harry is playing with with playing with her his sister and and Harry and Harry Harry is naked. Harry's hard neck. That's all. Okay. Sansido? Harry and Holly are going, uh, going the picnic with their family and Harry Yes Is that all? Ko ki banani No teacher in the morning, Harry and their family are going on the picnic and their car is fall into a deep in the road, on the road. And Harry is, Harry's neck is hurt and he told it in the airport to his mom. Okay. All right. So here, <clears throat> it's a uh, kind of good. Then uh, others also can do like that. Then two stories I found uh, fine. And uh, when you get the story narration, so in the exam also, how was the exam speaking session? So have you done it well? Mom marks karant kivinne athra dayang marks podak madhi vela tiyena va kattiyeta. So today on uh, tomorrow we have already uh, submitted to the administration. They will send it to you. And uh, I have got the marks and uh, you have got uh, low speaking marks. Most of you have got. That means uh, Rehara has got 73 for speaking. Sasandi 86. Rion 63. Lesan. 93, Vinudi, 60, Sansindu, 74, Megumi Dian, 80, and uh, Hansali Manodhya, 96. Hansali is uh, speaking is a little bit okay and also lessons. 90s are okay, but 70s, 80s, 60s are not much good. So what happened? Was, that means, uh, was, it, was it hard? Which one was hard put at the exam? Yes, uh, storytelling. storytelling was the hardest part. Yes, that's why I have told also. Uh, story. So, story. So, here, when we tell the story, you want to go through each and every four pictures. The first picture starting first picture starting will be given by them. starting so there will be four pictures for you all. 
पिक्चर्स हाथरक तीन वाह ये पिक्चर्स हाथरें तो हमारे यहाँ पे स्टोरी को रिलेट कराना होने सो फैन मैंने मैं फैनल मेंबर के निक दाला तब इस स्पीकिंग का तेका योगलांगे देन मैंने मेन लेवल्स तो हमारे पुत्र स्पीकिंग सेशंस वाला तीन है सो यू हैव टू इम्प्रूव योरसेल्फ देन व्हेन आई टेक दिस स्टोरी आल्सो आई हैव फेल्ड समथिंग लाइक दैट मम मेन स्टोरी का निदित मटे विधिर में तेरु ना सो यू कैन यूज़ द थिंग्स वी लर्न अभी गन का तारा चेंसर्स ठीक You have learned present continuous tense and also simple present tense. Can you remember those tenses that we have learned in grammar? Can you remember? Yes. Yes. Then you want to use them. Eva practically me 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 eva ke thangwali to mai puta use when mangki me picture story ke di ogalana present continuous ke use karana polwa. It doesn't matter. Then writing parts also have got the same problem. Writing parts alat marks are doi listening thamai hondrama tiye ni hamogi ma. Writing parts also rehara sixty four, sasandi sixty eight, rion forty five, leshan ninety two, uh, vinudi forty, sansindu sixty two, and hansali ninety five, megumi diyan seventy three. So I hope uh, there are few mistakes in writing session also. Writing session ne kiri puthe kala bale reon ke dhan chutta tiye ne kala balai, and uh, you know that means check karan ne ne aye ne the I have done. I have finished my paper. Then ni langa paper ke dhanawa make kawan ne make kivarai mande ke la no mande ano check karan ne na ne aye kauru. So when you check. इट एट वांस एक पार्ट में लिया दी पुत्र आप लोग आप लोग से आप लोग ये ना मैं खाली बाले तक को मार मैं आंसर के मैंना स्वेन ने पुलवा आई चेक करा दी बाला दी समाहर विचर आह दिस इज़ नॉट द वे आई वांट टू राइट दी आंसर मैं कन्हैया मैं इन्हीं मामले यान नो ने किला उन्ना कितिला आई रेस करा ला आई लिव Uh, Rehara ninety two, Sasadi ninety six, Rion eighty four, Vinudi ninety two, Sansindu ninety two, Megumi Dian ninety six. Ninety is the no listening well. The listening will be okay. Listening will be okay. But the thing is speaking. Speaking well, local drop pick up the no kila pay na ma. So I will go through all those facts from the uh, panel member as well. मंबाला ना मना तो कर लेते हैं ना मिस्टेक्स की अलास सो यू हैव टू इम्प्रूव स्पेशली स्टोरी चली देन हियर कैथी एंड जुआ हैविंग कन्वर्सेशन रीड एंड मेक सेंटेंसेस सो हियर दे हैव गिवन वेल्स हॉली टुडे आदर कोहे तो मैं हॉली गिर लेती हूँ निकल हाँ ना वाह शी शी हैज गोन टू इजिप्ट ऑन अ प्लेन या इजिप्ट � Plane ne ke? Have you ever flown in flown on a plane? Oya kawa da har da vasaka. Gihi la tiye na da kela hana wa plane ne ke? No, I haven't. Planes are bad for the environment, so we always travel by train. Then ya ke na answer ke balan na planes kiye ne ka harimu honda na hello environment ke kadi bad for the environment and. She always used the train. Yeah, how many times have you used the train? Put the train. Nika kila thamai kyan? All right. She's going to see the pyramids. Have you ever seen pyramids? Yeah, pyramids. Balani ano kila thamai kiuwe? Oya kawa da hari pyramids dekala thi ano the kila hano. No, I haven't. Nahe mama dekala nahe. And she's going to ride a camel. Have you ever ridden a camel? या कैमल्स वाले दें पादीन ना यान ने वो या कैमल्स का पैदल आती है ना तो कहो दाहरी यस आई हैव बट नॉट इन इजिप्ट आई वाज एट द सू राइट या कह बैगी ही लाने हैं इजिप्ट चलो नाम है बस जुए के दिन आम या कैमल के ने पैदल आती है ना केला आती है ना राइट तो हियर वी वांट टू लर्न यू कैन सी ह पहले नहीं तो बोलते हैं हम सेंटेंस है कम यूज़ लाते हैं ना हैव हैवेंट हैस हैसेंट कैन यू सी हैव यू एवर सीन द पिरामिड तो यू कैन सी काइंड ऑफ 
has have can a mask use with our tianava. Okay, now we want to make sentences. Holly is going to, you can take the verb from these blue boxes and other three boxes. How can you make questions by using this? Now tell me. Have you ever flown on a plane? Good. Have you ever flown on a plane? That is one question. All right. Good. Next one. Holly is, Holly is going to fly on a plane. Good. Okay. Holly is going to fly on a plane. That is also correct. Holly, Holly is going to Holly fly on a plane. Going, plane. Yes. Holly is going to ride on a camel. Yes, Holly is going to ride on a camel. Good. Now, can you make the sentences? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's start. When you take have you plus ever, the verb should be, should be in past participle form. Puta. Flown, ridden, seen. Past participle form. Past tense can be that should be in past participle. It's going to be the scene, flan, written, can a verb, sunamati, and a past participle. The king, and I'm going to may have you can a cup, pick a tamay, a good when I can a cup and tack tally when known. Others are can that means other verbs can use with tally is going to to can a cup, pick a verb, pick infinitive. A can a verb, pick a change when in a Base form making come, go, drink, eat, write, read. They were with us, and base form making it. And the him at the end, no. Okay, I hope you understood it. Yes, uh, do we need to write this in the yes. book. Yes, the the thing here, just we want to copy down to your writing book because we don't have enough space to write sentences here. Then you want to take your writing book and copy down the sentences to your writing book.
Have you all finished? Yes. No. All right. Uh, read the sentences. Those who have finished. Teachers and I. You start. Police. Uh, going to fly. Uh, fly on a plane. Okay. Have you ever ridden uh, on a camel? Okay. Have you uh, ever flown on a plane? Okay. Uh, Holly's, Holly's going to ride on a camel. Okay. Uh, have you ever uh, seen the pyramid? Okay. Holly is going to uh, see the pyramid. Pyramids. Um, All right. Okay. These are the sentences. Buddha, you can check. Holly is going to fly on a plane. Holly is going to ride on a camel. Holly is going to see the pyramids. Then that those are the three sentences from Holly is going to. Then questions are like this. Have you ever seen the pyramids? Have you ever flown on a plane? Have you ever ridden on a camel? So three questions and also three affirmative sentences are there. So you can understand what are the three questions now. I have already told you. Then put a tick if it is correct. If you want to write it there, you can write it down as well. Next one, write the words under the pictures. First one is down for you, chopsticks. You know chopsticks are kind of two sticks that you can use to eat rice, noodles, pasta spaghetti or whatever the kind of food. Mostly they use in Japan, uh, China, China, South Korea, yes, Korea, then those countries. So they are using chopsticks. They are not using spoon and fork. They are using chopsticks. Likewise, you want to go through question two to eight. They have given the words inside the box. You want to choose the word from the box and write it on the blank. Let's start to do that. Those are vocabulary. Those are kinds of vocabulary. That means when we go on a vacation, we can see different kinds of things. So they have given different kinds of things you can see and you can do in your vacation. So go through it. What is number four? Number four is baseball. That's a sport huda. we have learnt in uh, starters level. Starters level ke api gina gattu sport cheka kamai. It's a special sport that we have learnt in that level. Uh, that's baseball. Eka baseball kila tamai api hand in way. That's kind of, that's a little bit similar to cricket. Not much, but a little bit similar. Eva game tamai ball king. Uh, my play karane, we want to hit the ball like in cricket. Teacher, I have finished. Teacher, I have finished. All right, number two. Teacher. Not tell me what is number two. A mountain. A mountain. Here's a mountain. Then put a tick if, it, if you have written mountain, then you want to put a tick. Mountain. Number three. A helicopter. A helicopter. helicopter. Number four. Helicopter. Baseball. 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 Number five. A finger. A finger. Number six. A competition. Yes, a competition. A competition. Number seven. An octopus. An octopus. An octopus. An octopus. Number eight. 
Attend. 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 Okay. Now we are going. I'm going to show you a video about summer. You have uh, watched this previously as well, but uh, it will give you a good knowledge. My summer vacation. The weather is sunny and hot. School is over. Many people like to go to the beach on vacation. The days are longer and the nights are shorter. That's what I love the most about summer. I'm on vacation in Hawaii with my parents and my sister. We're staying at a beautiful hotel on the beach. There is a big swimming pool at the hotel. I love spending time at the beach with my family. My sister and I usually build sand castles. Our parents love to sunbathe on the sun lounges. Some people enjoy lying in the hammock, hanging between the palm trees. We enjoy playing volleyball on the beach. So much fun. When the sun is too hot, we sit under the beach umbrella and have an ice cream or a cold juice. We always take our pool box with us to keep our food and drinks cool. We also like to eat watermelon. Our favorite food in the summer is corn on the cob. Look, there are so many seashells on the shore. Let's gather them. Let's jump over the waves. <laughs> Floating on our inflatable mattress is so relaxing. We also love rubber raft trips. Look, children. That man is flying in a hang glider. Wow. My favorite summer activity is riding on a jet ski. It's so exciting. Going on a sailboat ride is so much fun. It's such a great adventure. When there are big waves on the sea, we can go surfing. Windsurf is a great water sport, too. I am crazy about swimming and diving. Underwater life is beautiful and magical. We have to wear goggles underwater to protect our eyes. I'm having such a great time in the summer camp. I'm staying in a beautiful log cabin. We're having so many wonderful adventures. Archery is a wonderful sport. We have learned how to shoot arrows at the archery target. We've also done some amazing rock climbing. While doing that, you have to wear a climbing helmet. One of my favorite activities here is the rope scores. Crossing a rope bridge is such a great adventure. Turns and swings are really exciting. Today, we are having a potato sack race. We are enjoying it so much. Jumping on a trampoline is a lot of fun too. <laughs> Some kids in the camp enjoy playing frisbee.
Now you're getting ready to play tug of war. But we're going to win next time. I think kids prefer sports like water ski in the summer camp. Or kayaking. In the evenings, we sit around the campfire, share stories, and roast marshmallows on a stick. Thanks for watching. All right, so you have seen different kinds of things. What do you have seen in the uh, video? Yes, what are the experiences that you can see in summer vacation? Camping. Yes, camping. Beach. Yes, you can go to the beach. Yes, you can play many games. Kind of, uh, so Yes. Skateboarding right. also can take. Uh... Yeah. Yes, swimming. Well done. Good. What else? So you have seen different kinds of things. They are going uh, sack races. Boat riding. Boat riding. Good. So in summer, they are enjoying their vacation. Especially they are getting their vacation and they are enjoying their vacation at that time. So... Uh, relevant to the next lesson in the get ready for flyers, we want to do present perfect tense. We are going to do present perfect tense, Buddha. So you want to take your grammar book now. Present perfect tense, unit 12. Turn to unit 12. Teacher, why? I read the uh, the holy story that one in the writing book. You haven't written or written? I written. You wrote it. Okay. All right. Okay. You want to take your grammar book and turn to unit twelve, page number. Page number 42. So today, today, uh, so today we are going to do a new lesson. I have, fin I have just finished it. I have just finished it. You can see there's a conversation be between Jenny and Nick. Then I'm going to re give you to read it. Jenny and Nick. Nick. So Lashan read the Nick's part. Hansali, read Jenny's part first. I washed the lettuce and I chopped the tomatoes. I can make the salad now. Lashan? No, you can't. You haven't sliced the cucumber yet. Oh, yes, I have. Look, I've already done it. And what, uh, what have you done? Have you finished the, finished the washing up yet? Yes, I have. No, yes, I just finished it. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Bell are out. Jenny and Nick are cooking dinner to surprise them. So Mr. and Mrs. Bella out, Jenny and Nick. Then there you can see Jenny and Nick are here. They are cooking. Okay, then parents are out. Then look at this. I have washed the lettuce and I have chopped tomatoes. Can I make the salad now? Then what is salad? Then what is the salad? Then what is the Highlight the words? Hey. Uh, you 
said the sentence wrong. I washed the lettuce and I've chopped the tomatoes. I can make the salad now. Am I correct? Yes, now correct. So that what I said, said? Can I make the salad now? All right, Last I can make time. the salad now. Okay, all right. All right, then I wash the lettuce. Mama, lettuce wash kara, salad leaves, kill at kin of the pick uh, salad sadanagana lettuce alter. And I've chopped the tomatoes. Tomatoes pepua, chop kala kin a kiane. I can make the salad now. Mother then salad ega hadana pulua. No, you can't. You haven't sliced the cucumber yet. Oya thama cucumber ega slice kirana ne. Slicing means what? What do you mean by slice? Yes, verb a cup with the regard to put it. Petta can now make a slice kerna kill a kina or halati parents lamalakina dama make you come a slice kerna. So, yes, petty akare to kapanawa kina kama pican slice kerna kina the bread slice kerna pluang apita, cucumber slice kerna pluang. So, different uh, vegetables are like that. Next one, oh yes, I have. Look, I've already done it. Ah, mom, men ne make a dhanada karala ivarai. And what have you done? Have you finished the washing up yet? Right. Oya mukhaag da kale. Oya, so the neke ivara da kela haane pute. Yes, I have just finished it. Oh, mom, me dhan tamay eka ivara kale. Then all of the pain of the highlighted words will have a just already yet kind of words use. So that's important to you to learn here. We can use just already yet kind of words use Karana Puluang when the mate ends a thick. So this is very important to you to listen very carefully, okay? Pahadiri Vahagana, it passes the air in Nati when the Puluang make a Kalagi di Parke, I yo teacher me, I can't understand this here. That's a thing, no? Present perfect simple lesson cameras different different things understand So you have to stop all the work. And you have to listen. Right. Okay. When you know, where do you know? Sorry. Do you know what is this? What we can use? What we can say by using this? I have washed, haven't slices, sliced. I have already done. Have you finished? I have just finished. Now you can see. All of the things are recent past happening things. Balan budi me okkoma recent past ke imara vechcha deval neither. Ye rakar po ada? Ye rakar po ada? No. 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 Pere da. No. Then last week ke kar po ada? No. Last month ke kar po ada? No. 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 So what is that? What is the time? Yes. No. Just yes, you have to go a few seconds ago. Neither Punji will have a Then up is a curple as a Nikamakag the Apicare the summer holiday. Karane the my summer holiday. Then up here known it. We have finished. We have finished which lesson? The my my summer. My summer. Holiday. holiday. Yes, summer we holiday. have finished summer my summer holiday. Natang unit 11. We have finished unit 11. <laughs> yes, Lesson, why are you laughing? Excuse me, teacher. I had a cup and I joined right now. What right. are you doing? Yes, I'm doing grammar lesson. That is unit 12. Put up. All right, here you can see. You can see here. Last sentence. Can you see the last sentence? We use 
the present perfect simple for a completed action which has an effect or results in the present. Then put the ogala make a matter mangi langa dawase hana kuda meka aniwaryama waraddala kiyenawa man eka experience eka danna. Uh 6 years wage experience ekak kiyenawa me tika gwanala. Then prashna tiyenne mokakda meka ilanga dawase awwahama kiyenawa me mokakda simple present kiwama sorry me present perfect kiwama simple present ekak eka thamai kiyanne. That's wrong. Hari enisa then teacher hanawa ilanga dawase what you can represent by using this present perfect simple present perfect kiyana eka use karanne mokakata the kiyala thamai den ilanga dawase ahanne then balanna menna me sentence eka highlight karaganna ogolla we use present perfect simple api menna me present perfect simple eka use karanawa for a completed action which has an effect eka result eka vartamane apita penna thiyena बल I am slice the cucumber. I am slice the cucumber. Look, here it is. Me balan na. Me tien ne. Kela tieno. Eto ko de aage aate me vidhi slice karapu cucumber tieno the nadd. At the moment, yes, yes. He is showing that. Look, here it is. Me tien ne ka. So you can see there should be the subject. subject is there subject ek pute definitely you want to use has and have what we want to use has or has and have and then verb verb beka past participle what is that past participle past participle what is it past Participle. 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 Say it again. Participle. Participle. Kela mada hena ma kaur hari kiyena. Participle. Say it again. Participle. Past participle. All right. So you can see past participle of the verb. past participle verb and object all right so can you see this everybody can you see this yes I'm teacher another, right? yes okay. teacher yes teacher so yeah. you can see the structure here then balanna me structure ekak thamai hamodam penne hamodam penawa kiyanne menna meka thiyena den uda sentence ekak mata kiyanna uh few me how the hans how the sansindu කියන්න පුතේ මේ උඩ තියෙන සෙන්ටෙන්ස් එකේ I have sliced the cucumber කියන ඒවා subject කවුද මෙතනින් පන්සිඳු Yes teacher Yes now tell me who is the subject in this sentence I have sliced the cucumber I I then has have ali මොකද යූස් කළා තියෙන්නේ what they have used there Have. Have. have what is the past participle verb slice slice then sansindu la godak innawada ek ek kenawa teacher hanne me okay object what is the object cucumber the cucumber what is the word the cucumber cucumber okay now uh, dian okay uh, need it Okay. Uh, first, uh, can you write down this in the bottom part of book? What part of your book? Put that. Make a little box. Kara kano ko idipas mang questions tika hana ngogo lagi. Mena metering highlight when noone putey mang kiwa isla highlight kara noone ka. So what do you want to highlight? Peter me. Action. 
you want to highlight we use the present perfect simple for a completed action which has an effect or results in the present you want to highlight that sentence and write it down here yes then you can understand that as well. Teacher. Yes. The subject has helped. The can I highlight it? Yes, you can box it, darling. Box karagan neka. Then go to highlight to no one. Okay. Teacher, I have finished. Okay. Me too. me too, teacher. All right. And me, teacher. I am too, teacher. All right. Then I'm going to create. Anybody is there who is still writing? No. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to ask questions from you all. Then Deanne, tell me who is the subject in this sentence. Uh, the sentence is, I, uh, I've washed the lettuce. Subject is? Yes. I, okay. I has have promised have okay and the past participle verb verb is uh washed yes and the object is uh lettuce the lettuce all right good okay rehara next sentence is i've chopped the tomatoes what huh? Teacher, excuse me. Yes. Can I go to the toilet? All right, go and come. Rehara, your sentence is I've chopped the tomatoes. Okay. Uh, the subject is I. The has. Okay. Have is uh, post of P V. E. The past participle verb. We e, e. O have. We can. We e. e. Let me put it. That's word have. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, the part participle verb is chop. Okay. Uh, the object is the tomatoes. All right. Object is tomatoes. Okay. Next one, Rian. Next, your sentence is you haven't sliced the cucumber yet. What Peter? You haven't sliced the cucumber yet. Please wait. Can you talk it again, teacher? You haven't sliced the cucumbers yet. Cucumber yet. Uh, subject is yes. Uh, uh, subject is you. Uh -huh. Uh, as how is uh -huh. apostrophe T uh, past past participle is uh, slice okay uh, the verb is uh, Yet? Yes, yet. Can I have a main verb? You is the subject, has have a link, you haven't, can I use it? Then past participle is sliced. Then object is what? The cucumber. Yet, can I have a adverb? You can use it. You can use it. You can use it. The cucumber is the object. Okay, next one. Uh, Sasandi. Your sentence is, I've already done. I've already done it. The subject is I. Yes. The has, how is how. Okay. The past participle verb is. Already? No. The already is an adverb. The just already yet can a words can at one if they were gone of comma verbs. Okay. The past participle verb is done it. Yes, done, done, done. done. Only. Yes. The object it is it. Yes, the object is it. Okay, subject is. Uh, I then have has already have the word have already used here. Then have can never take the for the Aranthine because I can never take the cake and Anissa. Then uh, done is the past participle of the verb and object is it. Object is it. All right, next on, uh, Vinudi, your sentence is I have just finished it. I have just finished it. Subject is I. Good. Has have have past past word finish. Object it. Past participle is finished and object is it. Good. Okay. Next one. Uh, who hasn't given the who haven't given the answers, Puta? Me. 
who? Hansali. All right. Yes, Hansali. Uh, I'm going to give you this sentence. I have just finished the chocolate pudding. Hansali? Yes, teacher. I've just finished the chocolate pudding. Can you tell me how to send it? Hansali? Yes, the subject is I. Yes. The hands that have is have the past participle. Is um uh, the object is the chocolate pudding. Yes, the past participle is finished, and the uh, the object is the chocolate pudding. All right, so here you can see they have given the structure here as well. Structure kapute mene metna tobolanda dilati enawa has or have plus past participle of the verb. Past participle is taka tiena kapute page number one hundred and level eleven vala. Page one hundred and eleven. Well, the end of our. So these are the words you can see here. Page teacher. One hundred and eleven. So here. Base form, past participle, so the past simple and past participle are here. So you can see first one is be verb, b e b verb, begin. Sorry, begin. Blow, break, bring, build, buy, catch, come, cast, cut, dig, do, draw. Drink, drive, uh, and uh, eat. Call, find, fly, flew, forget, get, gill, go, grow, hang, have. Oye verbs ठीक तमाय पुते तीन ओगलांडर में पेन अतंद ने किया दी मार्क कर गाना. Teacher, we have to study. Yes, I will tell you what you want to do there. Which words, teacher? I will tell later. So here you can see, this is the base form, this is the past form, and this is past participle. So if you want to go through these perfect tenses, simple present perfect tense, the uh, past perfect tense, or even perfect tenses, well, the anana putte anivare ma minimum past participle kine ke tamaya pe use karanne. So you have to go through past participles. Definitely, you want to know it. Then all I make a dani netnam. Drive, draw. What is the past participle of drive? That should be draw. Draw, draw. Sorry, <laughs> drive, draw, driven. Then driven ki na word ka dani netnam. Make a thamai past participle leka. Driven ki na word ka apni dana gani hiye netnam. Apni ta answer ke liya. Yes. Teacher gives pen ka mat pen na ne. हमारे पेन ना तो बोलते पेन वाला टीचर टीचर अन्य क्या डर पेन वाला क्यों ना बोलते आई कैन सी टीचर ऑलराइट अदर्स कैन सी विनोदी छुट्टक बालान ना आह मंगाए और ना स्टॉप कर लाए दान ना मेबी यू कैन सी आफ्टर दैट
All right, so past participle like that again, he can add them, put the up it on the Kaliana Barry when a present perfect sentence. He got her so a casia equal how long mother could be a gonna page number because you want to go through it. Okay, now look at this has have plus past participle of the verb. Has have a past participle like in no one. So you can see I have or I long form at the end of Puluang, not the short form at the end of Puluang. Can you see the short form here? Short form at the end of the book. Okay. First <laughs> Right, have I have or oh, I've finished? You have or oh, you've finished? He has or oh, he's finished? Every little shortened form, we got use karana pulua. Negative form, we got the hammer has have a kai verb because I'm mad that uh, Mukada Dan no ne. Not kila Dan no ne. Nehe kila kian. What we want to use? We want to use the word not. not. Not can a word again use Quran no only. So you can see I have not finished. You have not finished. She has not finished. It has not finished. You can see like that. Okay. All right. Okay. Next, you can ask questions. Questions Ahana Kota Pute Meneme has have Kianeka Kohada the Gane. Subject Tekata Israhin Tien. Pena the Golanta you Kianeki Israhin Tien or have. Have you finished? Have you finished? Has she finished? Has he finished? So, we did up with a Hana Pulua. At the quarter, has have Kianaki put a subject taken to Sarah David Kina Pain or the can you see? Yes. Okay. When you want to ask questions, then you want to take has have to the front. Has have the front taken Aragana questions a Hana Villa Vata. Can you all understand? Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to give you an activity. Then Tanya Makaran Noni. Malam then Teruna the Kiela. Irregular verbs are here. Past simple form of the Mapute Metan Lian Noni. Past participle like a Metan in Lian Noni. First one is down for you. Palavinika Kerla Tiene. Eight. Past participle form is eaten. Eight can a past participle like a put a eaten. Okay, now can you write the answers for this one alone? Honey, my answers, Liana Balanik Manata. It's very easy.
Teacher, I have finished my work. Okay, wait for the others. Teacher, I have finished too. Teacher, right, I have. Wait. I have finished my book. Me too. Me. All right. Uh, let's write the answers then. So here, uh, did, 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 then answer is done. Done. Next one, brought, then past participle form is written. Next on, so, S-A-W, so, seen. Check your answers. Next one, draw, uh, draw. Driven. Next on, forget, forgot. Next on, took, taken. Next on, went. And gone. Teacher, excuse me, teacher. Yes. For teacher. Ah, oh, sorry, forget, forget to give me. Yes, forget. Forget to give. Forget to give teacher. You know where? Teacher. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Wait for one minute. Teacher. Forgot, forgotten. Yes, why? Can I, Mama, make a penny, Hari Yes, yes, you can take it. With the red pen? Yes, yes. Okay. Drank. Drunk. Eight. Eight. All right, you can see the answers here. You can put a tick if it is correct. If correct, if it is wrong, you want to write the correct answer. Yeah. Did you not say it and eaten? They gave us a, as the example. Oh, yes. Any yeah. more words here? Drank has written, gave written, drunk here, gone, forgot, drove, took, so, went, eaten, do it. We, we, we gave, gave. Give, gave, yes, give and gave. Give and give. 
Give and give. Give and given. Teacher, are you all are correct? Good. Me too, teacher. Correct. Mine too. The next one, look at this. Just already and yet. Look at these three and highlight the parts that I'm going to tell you. Use just for a very recent action. Highlight it, Vika. Use just for a very recent action. Just use a few seconds, a few minutes ago. Punchy minutes to keep a kalin, seconds keep a kalin, complete karana apkina, just kiela. I have just come home. Ma me then tamai gither at avi. I have just finished my homework. Ma then tamai magi homework give her a kali. So a few seconds ago, few minutes ago. Next one. Teacher. Why? Use just for very recent action. What? Use just for a very recent action. Use just for a very recent action. Next one, use already in positive sentences. I have already done it. Then go and teach a kiadi, make a karali varainam. Our teacher manga karali varaini. Kilakian on either. So I have already done it. I plus has have plus already plus past participle of the verb. So positive sentences can put the at the kian art the tien noni, not kian a machine at the end of the not kin of a native, but take a negative a cup and a one a positive can ne at the kin out the tien noni. So not kin of a chane, a can it and a tien the hat. And the eva gay sentences will the tamai up he already kin a word a ka use karan name. I'm maybe did magay carry her lava son. Okay, then highlight use already in positive sentences. Yes. What did you tell? Use already in positive sentences. Okay. Teach, do we need to highlight uh, another sentence? So uh, I've already. No, no, wait, wait. I'll, I'll, I'll underline it, otherwise, it will be a big problem. Finish teacher. I've already uh, underlined.
then then hari ne da mo ge highlighting part sticker oh teacher uh, use yet with uh, negative sign did you please wait a minute okay Teacher, I have finished my work. Me too. Okay, teacher. Okay, use yet in negative sentences. Yet kya na baare ka puse puse use karan ne negative sentences ka kya kya? Kya ne nata not kya ne katte kya? You haven't sliced the cucumber yet. You haven't sliced the cucumber yet. Hari the, ये तो हमने haven't sliced cucumber yet किया ना मुकाग द में बेड दे और यार cucumber का slice करना नहीं है, right? Then have you finished the washing up yet? Then बालानी yet किया ना को पुत्र हम तीस से मर एंड एक अट तमाई गिहिलती है ने, फिर उन आदर yet किया ना के एंड एक अट गिहिलती है ने, so you can see you have sliced the cucumber yet, है ना? Oh yeah, sorry, you haven't. Haven't kya ne ka not kya la dila tiya na wa? Any saap ye kadi kya na negative sentence aga kya la? Next one, question form. Question form me kerit kute abida haan na pulu aang. Ma kadda? Teacher, thank you. Finish. Have you? Have you? Question form me ke did yet ke ano sa yet ke ano word ekka sentence ke ende kada inno oni. Sentence ke ende kada thamai pute me ekka hamati sama pi daan no oni. Can you understand? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. All right. So we are going to start question number one. Let's match it. Match the sentences. Teacher. Why? Pencil like in the. Yes, yes. Matching karadi pute pencil like in the mai karan ne. Okay.
Teach, I have finished my work. I have finished my work, teacher. Okay. I have finished my work, teacher. All right. Give me one second, it's not working. Okay, next one. Uh, number one. I have got you a hat. Try it on. Next one. Tom has been on holiday. He has got a custom. Sorry, son. It's got a son. Suntan means with a brown color. Kada me, hama pichche na wa arau. Pela wa te ani saath hama itna di lati enne. Itna samay ka kena samay ka te kena word deka maker. Brown or dark shade of skin. Okay. Then uh, I haven't eaten anything today. I am very hungry. Nick hasn't. Nick hasn't done his homework yet. He can't go out. Jenny's cut off. Jenny has cut her finger. It's bleeding. Teacher, what's the meaning of bleeding? Bleeding. bleeding. Capilla lay on Okeneka. You haven't combed your hair. It looks untidy. Next one. I've caught a cold. I've caught a cold. I have got a temperature. Amanda's, Amanda has passed the exam. She's very happy. He hasn't washed his hand. He hasn't washed his hands. They are dirty. I've lost my key. I can't get I can't into the house. Get into the house. Good. My answers are all correct. Good. Mine too. Good. Me too. Teacher. Yes. Dictation. Dictation next week. Okay, Shalini Miss Dey Pute. Mang grammar lesson ek complete karna wada. Yes. Next on question number three. What have they just done? Mana they aala kalle ki ani kato mai ki alati enne. So you can see the first question. The example has given here. He has just finished. 
the chocolate pudding. He has just finished the chocolate pudding. You can see that they have given the answers here. All right. So next, you next one onwards, you want to use present perfect simple tense with the verb with the word just. Just can a word present perfect tense Present perfect tense use karana the end. So has have plus past participle of these verbs and the object. You can see the pictures here and you can make sentences by yourself. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Teacher has finished writing. Yes, uh, what are the answers for that? He has just finished the banana. No, he has just finished eating the banana. He, he has never the put answer. He has just eaten a banana. He has just then he has. Plus past participle is eaten. A banana. Next. Teacher. He has. He has. Ate the banana. Bye bye. Past participle. Can you tell me? No. Ate the banana. Okay, teacher. Come. 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 Come
past participle of the verb you should write past participle of the verb but not the base form or the uh, not the base form or the other one base form ekawath past part past tense ekawath liyanna ba right past participle ekama tiyenna one okay hansali continue they have just broken the window she has just from her hair he has just come out of the shower he has just wash the car she has just baked no she has just took the cake out of the oven she he has just opened the letter all right okay teacher some of some of some of those sentences were wrong Seven. yes i will tell what are the answers okay Teacher, in seven, number seven, she has just took the cake. Yes, took also can take just made a cake. Took the cake. Yes, took also can take just made a cake. Took the cake. Yes, took also can take just made a cake. Took the cake. Yes, took also can take just made a cake. Took the cake. Yes, took also can take just made a cake. Took the cake. Yes, took also can take just made a cake. Took the cake. Yes, took also can take just made a cake. Took the cake. Yes, took also can take just made a cake. Took the cake. Yes, took also can take just made a cake. Took the cake. Yes, took also can take just made a cake. Took the cake. Yes, took also can take just made a cake. Took the cake. Yes, took also can take just made a cake. Took the cake. Yes, took also can take just made a cake. Took the cake. Yes, took also can take just made a cake. Took the cake. मैटर <laughs> Okay. Yes, Lashan, have you finished to read your answers, Puta? No, teacher, I have one more right. Okay. टीचर Teacher, I have finished. Yes, read it. If you have finished, you can read the answers. Teacher, I have finished writing. Read the sentences. First one, he has just finished eating. He has just uh, finished eating. Where are they? Put the finished eating. Kya na ba? Yeah, then kala ibaro una kila ni kya no ne na. He has just eaten mm. a banana. All right, next. She just cutted her finger. Cut to keep it. Past form is a cutted. Ne hai cut my same. She has just cut her finger. Cut. Okay, next yeah. one. She has just cut her uh, finger. Makada bute sansi do I can't hear you. She has just cut her finger. Cutting ke laga ne ne. Cut किया ने के past tense का cut past participle लेका cut पुते that's similar okay लेशा next one 
They have just broken the window. Okay. Next. She has just combed her hair. Okay. He has just uh, taken a shower. Okay. Had a shower or taken a shower or likewise you can use. Okay. Next. He, he has just washed his car. Okay. She has just she has just made a cake. Yes. He has just written a letter. All right. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Can I read? Okay, read it. He has just eaten eaten the banana. She has just cut her finger. They has just they has can bear. Had the teacher? They have put they has have new use Okay, teacher. Uh, she has just combed her hair. He just washed his body. He had she has just washed his car. She she has just made a cake. He has just written a letter. I have finished my work. Read the sentences. He has just in a banana, she has just cut the finger. They have just broken the window. She has just combed hair. He has just had a shower. He has just washed the car. She has just made a cake. He has written the letter. Okay, next. Teacher, can I? Yes, read it. Uh, he has just eaten a banana. She has just cut her finger. They have just broken the window. She has just combed, combed her hair. He has just taken a shower. He has just washed his car. She has just make an make made a, made made put it made a cake he has just written a letter that's all all right you take a night then yes start with her he has just eaten a banana she has just cut her finger they have just broken the window. She has just combed her hair. He has just washed his body. He has just washed his car. She has just took the cake. He has just opened the letter. Next, anybody else who haven't given the answers? Teacher B. Yes, start with her. Start. He has just finished eating his banana. Eaten. Eaten. Eating his banana. She has just cut her finger. 
They has just. They have. They has. Can I pull on the? They have just broken their window. Uh, she has just combed his hair. She has. He has just had his shower. Uh, he has uh, just clean uh, clean his uh, car uh, she has just took the cake he has just written a letter written a letter letter okay all right now i'm going to uh... Read the answers for you all. Answers read karana hai hadani hai motama. So please uh, check your answers. Okay, wala ke answers check karakana pute. Wala liya rati na answers haridhi kiya la. Let's start. Number one. He has just eaten a banana. He has just eaten a banana. Next one. She has just cut her finger. Cut her finger. Just cut her finger. Next one. They have just broken the window. They have just broken the window. Next one, she has just combed her hair. She has just combed her hair. Next one, he has just washed her car. He has just washed her car. Next one. She has just made a cake. She has just made a cake. Next one is the last one. He has written a letter. He has written a letter. All right. So I hope most of you have checked it. Teacher, my all answers are correct. Good. Me too, teacher. All right. I am too, teacher. Okay. Next, you want to do what? You want to do this as a homework. So, present perfect tense again. Put it. All other three other questions. Ki hipa homework for later. Page number forty-five is homework for you all. Okay. Okay. Then present perfect tense we have already completed. That is unit 12. And page number 45 is homework for you all. Right, I will check next week. Uh, next week, I will check homework. So everybody want to do it and come. Definitely you want to do. I will I'm going to check it. So then uh, next we have present perfect simple. Part two. Part two we can complete karani langa grammar lesson. So today we have completed few of them. That then I'm going to take get ready for flyers again. So turn to the page number 95. Turn to the page number 95. You have to write regular verb and also irregular verb. Regular verb eka kadi pute mang kiwa iri dala hadagan na puluang hai bhai regular verb zoradi apne hima hadagan na bhai. Next week ke teacher page number one hundred and eleven kya ne ke ugalan na matakai ne the grammar book ke. Teach can you say those words again? I couldn't hear that day. Page That's number true. one hundred and eleven in grammar book. A word sticker by heart kala tiyagan none mang ahano past participle leka. Oyala, past participle ka kiyan na pulang idira practice karaga no ne. Can you understand? Another yes, another dictation. Yes. Now here you can see regular verbs and irregular verbs. They have given regular verbs. Kila dilatina apote apote idiya ka dalah hadana pulwa. 
But irregular verbs will have to be the same as the other one. If you have a word list, you can do it now. So you want to do it now. Then you want to do it now. Then you want to do it now. Teacher, I have a class at 5.30 p.m. Oh, right. Okay, you can go, Puta. You can complete this at home. Next week, I will continue from page number 96, okay? Okay, teacher. All right. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Others, regular verbs. Tell me what are regular verbs you can see here. First one has done for you, climbed. What are the others? Yes, designed. Yes, designed. Third one is burned. Burned. Next one? Stayed. Stayed. Good. You can see ED words. That means you have already added ED to here. Then they can write like that. Then irregulars are like this. Eaten, flown, seen, and seen. Okay, good. Now you know what are the regular verbs and also irregular verbs. In regular verbs, we can add ED, but irregular verbs, we cannot add those things. You have to study those words at home. All right? Okay. Okay, next week we are going to continue from page number 95. So today I'm going to stop, stop from page number 95 here, next week 96. Do you have any questions to ask from me about today's session? No, teacher. Yes, uh, exam marks for the writing paper, consider karana. you have to go through the writing paper rather than that means uh, mm -hmm. not just think it's easy. It's easy for the shield sticker, right? It's well, uh, that means it's losing your sheets. Shields. That's why I want you to say, please read and read and read. Again and again, all of the Quran only read Quran only. Without reading, you cannot understand. That's what I want to say. So, daily reading and story, story, fun, and read. Another moment, have you all read it? Or oh, are you reading? Or oh, what? I have read it, teacher. Okay, so you should read it daily. Hamamadama read Quran only. Do if you have. Uh, story books at home, you want to read them as well. Story books, TNI, story books, so read Quran only. So, Teacher, I read all my English story books and I have no books left to read. Okay, then uh, it doesn't matter. So, if Me you if you want uh, to read more and more, you can go through Get Ready for School, as, Get Ready for Flyers also. Get ready for flyers, books, books, read, 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 books, read, read it again and again. Because uh, most of you have got low marks for the writing paper. It's because not, it's not especially about your knowledge. It's especially, I think you have got mistakes in kind of uh, careless mistakes. So that means Right, so everybody should go through it at home. Writing paper, ke kai man kya ne wala read karo thamai wala to understand karana pulaam venne kiela. Isar hamati kai ay madati kai kitra read karo the answer ke vara denne pulaam. Ini sa full passage ke man read karla thamai answer ke find out karaga na oni. Can you understand? Yes, teacher. All right, for today I'm going to end the session. Then see you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye, teacher. Alright, goodbye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.